Hello friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Abby and I am a first year middle school math teacher and this is a day in my life. Hello you guys, it has been a while since I have vlogged. Um, it is currently Monday, October uh, 18th. I had to look at my little calendar. Um, and it's about 6.45 in the morning. I got it here to school like five minutes ago um, and kids will start coming in around seven-ish. So I have like 15 minutes to do some things. So I'm actually about to start kind of like marking um, some of their papers that they were working on last week um, because they're going to kind of correct them in class today. And so I need to do that. Um, I have a lot of things to do today. It already feels like a little bit of a chaotic day. Um, so I'm not sure what this vlog will look like. This is also the first time I've vlogged all school year, um, but I've really been wanting to get back into this. And so we'll see how this turns out, but um, hello, I'm glad that you're here. Um, and I'm gonna start marking up these papers and we'll get the day started. So thanks for watching, glad you're here. This is what my desk looks like after three straight periods of teaching. So that's awesome. Um, but I'm actually gonna head to planning right now. It's fourth period. So I really liked out with my schedule. I teach three periods in the morning. Fourth period is my planning. So I have like right in the middle of the day, a, um, sorry, there's people passing my room. I have right in the middle of the day, a break or like a planning time. And then I teach three periods at the end of the day. And so I really like that schedule because you get like a break right in the middle of your day. Um, but we usually don't plan on Mondays, but our curriculum coach just asked if we could change it. So I'm gonna grab my computer and head over there and I will check in with you guys a little bit later. First three periods went well. They just had like a catch up day today, um, nothing crazy. So it was a little bit chaotic because everybody was kind of like working on different things, but I think they got a lot of work done. And if not, then they have a lot of homework and that's on them, honestly. So. Anyways though, <laughs> gonna head to planning. Hello you guys, so it is now the end of the day. Um, I'm sorry, I feel like I, sorry, I thought someone was coming into my room. There, my whole front of my room is glass and so everybody can see in and I can like see out, which makes filming a little bit awkward. But anyways, I feel like I left y'all really abruptly. Um, I think the last time I talked to y'all was planning and I had so many plans for planning, um, that all the things that I was going to do. And then we ended up spending all of our planning time, like in our planning meeting, which we don't usually plan on to our on Mondays. And so that was just kind of a change up. So I was like, dang it, I was going to get so much stuff done. Um, but it's fine. It'll get done some other time. I'm learning to like not freak out if absolutely everything doesn't get done one day, because I know that it just, it will get done and I might have to stay up late one night or something, but it'll be fine. And so I'm trying to just like cultivate more calmness in myself about just like school and everything. Um, but it was kind of a chaotic day. Um, I think like in all of my classes, they were just kind of doing practice work. So, and I let them work in groups, um, at least like my last three classes, I let them work in groups because they were working on a test review. Um, and it's like good because they get to practice and they get to like collaborate and talk to each other, but it's also a little bit chaotic because like, it's kind of, it's just like not as structured. Like they're just, they're doing their paper and, um, but I tried to make it more fun. So I stole this idea from my uh, mentor teacher, actually. She had some buckets out and put on the buckets, like um, just like little incentives, like a snack of your choice on test day or like a, 
a drink of your choice and then the other one was like bonus points so i had like three buckets out of those three things and basically every time that they got a question right i was just kind of monitoring around the room and would go and put check marks um by the problems that they got right and for every check mark that they got they could just like write their name on a tiny little piece of paper and drop it in those buckets and then at the end of the class i did a drawing so for my last three classes of the day i drew three names so i need to go to the grocery store after i leave here and pick up their stuff um because i have two kids in my last three classes who each got um like one kid from a class got like a snack and then another kid got a drink and then the other kid who got bonus points obviously i don't really need to do anything for them but um but they really liked it and it really motivated them and so i think i'm going to keep doing things like that on test review days because at first i was doing like bonus points incentives which like worked for a while um but i think doing more kind of like fun like almost like by luck of the draw incentives is like even more motivating for them for some reason and so that was fun i'm glad that they liked that um, I also wanted to show y'all um, my slides so y'all can kind of see like what my slides for the day typically look like. But then also I've been doing this other thing to kind of help with my classroom management that I've actually been really enjoying um, and I think has been helpful for my classes. I definitely still have like some extreme behaviors that are happening and just like disruption and disrespect and everything. And I feel like that's kind of common this year. And I don't know if you're a teacher, you let me know if you're experiencing the same thing, but I feel like every teacher I've talked to, they feel like behaviors are really heightened this year. And I think it's because these kids really haven't had like a normal school year in like over two years. And so I'm like, like my seventh graders haven't had a normal year of school since fourth grade because fifth grade got cut short because of COVID. And then all last year, sixth grade was like crazy. And so now they're in seventh grade. So you have kids in your class who haven't been in a real classroom since like fourth grade, um, at least for like the entire year. And so, and I think with COVID, like we've lost some like social skills and like social emotional learning, conflict resolution, things like that. And so everything just feels a little crazy, a little bit off right now. Um, but anyway, so let me know if you're a teacher and you feel that, let me know um, because I definitely feel that in my classrooms. And I think also just being a first year teacher and being young, I'm like, I definitely struggle with just like kids being disrespectful or like saying things to me that they wouldn't say to other teachers who I think look older. Um, I even like, I straight up confronted a kid about it today. I was like, would you say that to one of your other teachers if it like wasn't me? And he looked at me, he was like, oh, no probably not and I was like yeah that's the issue like I'm glad that y'all feel comfortable with me but you you have to respect me um and so we're working on that still we're working um yeah I'm sure other first year teachers can relate especially if you teach secondary um but anyways let me stop chatting and let me show you all my slides so you can kind of see what the layout for the day was and this little classroom management tool that I have been using that has been helpful Okay, so this is kind of what my slides every day look like. They come into something that looks like this, where it's like a little, hello, how are you, welcome back. And then it tells them what they're gonna be doing. And then I have the materials that they're gonna need to have out listed and also when their next test is. So this was for my last three periods. Um, these slides were for my like on-level classes, which are my last three periods of the day. So they all have their tests tomorrow, which is why we're doing our test review today. And then usually we will have a warm up, and um, so I'll put that on the board and they can work independently on that the first few minutes of class and that kind of gets everybody into the learning mode and kind of brings our brains back to what we are learning. And then usually I'll either have a checklist or I'll have just like, for instance, today we were just reviewing. So um, it's just telling them like, hey, this is what we're doing for the rest of the class. Here's what you need to do. I'll try to put a funny GIF on there. Um, this is this one's from Obama telling them that they need to practice um, so they can do well on their test tomorrow. Um, and then this is the classroom incentive I've been using. So basically, let me turn you all around and I'll explain it a little bit. So basically back like a couple weeks ago, I was having a lot of issues with behaviors in my classroom. And so, and just like classroom management in general, and I still am struggling, I'll be honest. But I feel like this one, this is helping. And so basically what I did is instead of like a normal warm up, I had them do, um, I had kind of a social emotional warm up for them. And they did, they got out index cards and um, I had two questions up on the board. And one of them was, what do you think we thought we do well as a class? And what do you think is something that we could improve on as a class? And I got some really good responses, like really honest ones of kids being like, I think that we do well, like doing our work and like, participating but I think that we could work on being more respectful or not talking while you're talking and things like that and so some of them were like very short and sweet like 
I think I do math good and I think I need to talk less or and some of them were like really detailed and like um you know things like that and so okay I'm sorry y'all I just had to hop on a zoom call with my field supervisor that I thought was at four but it's actually was at three and so it's just chaotic Monday but anyways it went well it was good she came and observed me last Friday so this is like our follow-up meeting or whatever but anyways like I was saying you gave those kids an index card they wrote it down and from their responses on like what they could do better I formulated like a goal for every class period that was like specific to their class so now as our closure at the end of every class during like the last three minutes I tell them to pack up and then we all sit and I tell them to close their eyes and like honestly reflect on the class period and I remind them of what their goal is so that they are reminded what they're working towards and they can either earn two points if they think that they did really well, um, one point if it was like, mm, it was all right, but we could do better, and zero points if it was like, yikes, we need to try again tomorrow. And I let them vote on how many points that they get. And I tell them like, if we're being unreasonable about our voting, like it was, if it was a clearly a zero day and you're voting two, then I have the power to veto. But 99% of the time, they're actually super honest about it. And they'll, st I, I have kids who are straight up like, we did not earn any points today. This is a horrible day. And it's just been really helpful, I feel like, to have them reflect and like own what has happened in the class that day, especially if it wasn't a good day. But also is a really good time to like affirm them if they're like, hey, we did, I think we did really well today. I think we should get two points. And I can be like, I agree, y'all did awesome. And basically, once they earn 20 points, they get some kind of classroom incentive. I just started this, so we haven't had a classroom incentive yet, but um, I told them it can be I'll bring donuts or pizza, or they can have like a headphones and chill day, or I'll play a movie while they just do some like really chill practice like work. It'll be like whatever they want. We'll, we'll figure it out. And so, um, so that's kind of something that I've started doing and I really do think that it's helping. And so I'll show you an example of a goal really fast. Okay, so this is an example of the goal for my seventh period class. So their goal is respecting others by remaining on task during instruction and listening when others are speaking. So this class specifically, they struggle with staying on task and also not talking while I'm talking or not talking while like another student is talking. And so that was kind of their main two things that they all identified as something that they needed to work on. So this is their class goal. So basically after they vote at the end of the class, I'll just go back into the slideshow. I'll like press um, escape and I'll like go back in um, and edit. And so today they actually did a really good job. And so they earned two points. So now they have a total of five points towards their class goal. Okay, y'all, so I just finished filling out a bunch of paperwork and trying to organize my desk a little bit better. And it's now about four, it's like five minutes till four o'clock. Um, school ended at 2.50. <laughs> so I've been here like an hour um, after school, which I'm really trying not to do. I'm trying to like only stay after school, like two days a week, three days a week max but some days you just can't really help it. So, but I'm gonna get out of here. I need to go turn in this paperwork stuff into somebody's box. I need to grab all of these papers that I need to take home and grade. Um, I honestly hate grading. Like I hate it with a passion. I'm trying to like get myself more motivated to do it so I'm trying to like tell myself like oh no it could be fun like sit and watch a show and like grade and everything trying to like put myself up for it so I'll tell you how that goes but um I also have my little note cards of what each person that I drew said that they wanted so I'm gonna run by the grocery store on my way home I think while I'm there I'm gonna get myself an energy drink which has become a really bad habit of mine but I love them um, and I need to like give myself, like I said, I need to pump myself up to like grade and everything, right? Um, so probably gonna get that at the grocery store as well. Maybe a snack too, I'm honestly so hungry. Um, yeah, I'm just rambling at this point and trying to get this freaking rubber band knot out, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Also, can we just take a second for my nails really fast? like? how freaking sad i need to like take all of them off but i just like don't want to sit there for forever with my nails in acetone anyways i'm just rambling about random stuff now i'm gonna go i will check in with you guys 
I don't know, maybe at home. Um, if there's more footage after this, great. If there's not, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> back in the car from the store excuse the lighting it's whack the sun is like right in my face but it was pretty successful got everything that the kids requested except for this one kid had he requested funyuns which like are not very popular anymore so i couldn't find them in there and so i'm gonna have to go to a gas station or something but i am literally so hungry so i got this protein bar this girl on instagram said that they were good so i decided to try it so we'll do a little taste test while i'm here in the car and i'll just eat in silence for a second before i start my drive home because it takes like 45 minutes to an hour to get home in the afternoon so here goes nothing Honestly, that's really good. I don't super like Quest Bars usually because they taste very like protein-y, you know? This is actually so good. It has like little rice crispy things in it. Okay, happy with that. Well, I'm gonna sit here, eat this for a second. Drink my little energy drink. These are the best energy drinks on the face of the planet literally tastes exactly like a sour patch and they have like a bunch of vitamins and stuff in it so i tell myself that it's healthy oh hello persons oh i got someone i tell myself that it's healthy even though it's probably not but anyways i'll catch up with you guys later at home when we're probably grading I really want to try to go to the gym today, so we'll see if we get to do that. This is going to be like a kind of grind it out week. We only have school through Thursday because Friday is a teacher work day. So, I don't mind grinding it out a little bit because i only got to grind it out through Thursday. And then Friday, I'll have it all to myself in my room, doing whatever I need to do. So... I'm ready for it to be a little bit more chaotic because I can handle it. It's only for four days instead of five. So, just how it is sometimes. But, I'm going to start heading home. Oh, this is like exploding a little bit. Oh, God. Cheers, you guys. See you at home. Hello, you guys. So, it is a bit later. It's like 6.30. I think almost 7, actually. And I came home, ate some dinner um sent some emails and i'm feeling pretty tired so i think i'm gonna go to the gym because that kind of like gives me a little extra adrenaline boost to like keep powering through the day so i think i'm gonna do that but i figured first i would show you guys my gym fit because it's super fashionable totally like just probably the best gym outfit that you've ever seen so Anyway, so my shoes are Adidas from the kids section specifically. Um, my leggings are knockoff Lululemon from Aerie. And this shirt is vintage, has a little bit of like distressing on it because I've had it for like five years. So you don't have to spend as much money on gym clothes as I do. I just like to look classy and cute at the gym, but you definitely don't have to spend money on gym clothes like I do. I hope everybody caught on that that was completely a joke. like I feel like this lighting looks like ominous that's kind of better okay 
I just got back home. Um, I meant to film in the gym and there was just so many people there that I was just like, I can't do this. But I did a leg day. Um, I have been really into weightlifting like the past eight or so months. Ever since really like Texas had that huge freeze back in February, like I had nothing to do and we were stuck at home at our apartment for like a week. And I just decided to try weightlifting because I was kind of bored with my workouts and so that's what I have been doing um since February and I really liked it and so I've just like recently started trying to like lift a little bit heavier because for a while like I've never lifted weights in my life um and so I was just trying to like I wasn't lifting very heavy and I was just like trying to get my form right while like lifting just like lighter weights because I didn't want to injure myself so now that I feel like I have a lot of like the form down I'm starting to like up my weight and trying to get some muscles on my little body um and so that's been really fun Re been really into that I go through phases fitness wise last year I was like into running a lot and then now this year I've been really into like more weightlifting and strength training so that's been fun I just do whatever I'm feeling um, but it is about 8.45. I took, I was at the gym probably for like an hour and a half or so. Um, I kind of like just took my time. I stretched afterwards. And so I'm going to run inside and take a shower and kind of do some very chill planning. Maybe grade a couple things tonight, but I'm trying not to put a lot of pressure on myself to like stay up super late. So I don't know. I am feeling more awake than I was, but I just like... Like I said, I'm trying to cultivate more of like a peaceful attitude towards school, even though it feels like there's like so much to do. I'm trying to like not freak myself out and like allow myself to rest and everything because I was honestly so exhausted after school today. So anyways, I will probably end this vlog here. I'm sorry that I feel like I didn't get a lot of like footage of me like doing stuff. It was just me talking to y'all the whole time. So hopefully this wasn't like super boring. I'm sorry if you're tired of hearing my voice, but if you made it to this part of the, of the vlog, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. If you wanted to hit the subscribe button and stick around, I would love to have you here on my little corner of the internet. And yeah, I'm hoping to do more day in my life, come to school with me type vlog. Yeah. Anyways, I'm hoping to get back into this whole YouTube thing because it is a really fun hobby and I feel like I'm starting to kind of calm down from like first year teacher start of school jitters, chaotic anxiety, all that kind of stuff. So anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.